in general video. Today I'm back with another video about the Apple M1 computer and I think this is going to be helpful for not only me but for you guys if you're looking to buy a brand new Apple M1 CPU. It's kind of like a website showcase um, and the website is called Is Apple Silicon Ready? Now I'm not endorsed by these people at all. I just found this website quite helpful and maybe be helpful for you guys. Um, Sorry if you hear rain in the background, it's kind of raining at our house right now, but I still wanted to make a video. So, um, so this website is HTTPS is Apple Silicon Ready.com. So it kind of shows you um, some of the apps that are ready for Apple Silicon or ones that run fine in Rosetta 2, which Rosetta 2 is kind of like, if you didn't know, um, it's kind of like a program that lets x86 based programs or otherwise intel programs to run on the apple m1 cpu because the m1 cpu runs on an architecture known as arm and arm is a different architecture than what intel uses intel uses x86 so in order to get x86 programs to work on apple's new arm m1 cpu they need to use a program and theirs is called rosetta 2 right here so you can kind of look through this website and see apps that um, work or for M1 Optimizer, ones that work in Rosetta 2. And at the bottom, they have this little thing here that says, fully compatible with Apple Silicon, not working or initial beta support with issues. So as you can see, a lot of apps are indeed running in it. It seems like a lot of Adobe apps aren't ready, but they're mostly running Rosetta 2 perfectly fine. Um, and you can actually go up here and search for an app. So one I've actually been interested in is Minecraft. So if you go here, you can see um, application Minecraft is not M1 optimized, but it is it does work fine in Rosetta 2. And then they also have these tabs up here that kind of show you like, oh, it, let's see you do design work in like Pixelmator Pro or Adobe Photoshop. I do use Pixelmator Pro, so that's nice to know that it is M1 optimized. Um, and you can actually go down and they have quite a big list and that's not even all of them. You can make that go to a hundred or you can even look at all the other pages with tons more designer apps that um, work with Apple Silicon. And it also says up here, is Apple Silicon ready for design? Well, because a lot of them work either in Rosetta 2 or are M1 optimized, um, that means yes, it is basically ready. And then otherwise for video production, which is probably where I would be, um, almost um is for that one and it's actually nice to know that the black um the thing the the program that i use to make my videos davinci resolve um is m1 optimized with um version 17 which is um davinci resolve 17 is their new one as well as these are programs that i use as well as handbrake um and vlc i used to use screenflow when it was a free program a long time ago and um, OBS Studio is what I use for live streaming and screen recordings. So that one is not M1 optimized yet, meaning it doesn't have support for it, but it will run perfectly fine in Rosetta 2. Um, and then they have like Adobe After Effects, which is not yet, and it does not work with M1, but it does work under the um, Rosetta 2 program. And then if you guys are looking for browsers, um, a lot of browsers are supported, especially Chrome, because that's one of the biggest ones that um, browsers in the world. I personally use Firefox a bit more than Chrome, but yeah, they're both M1 optimized. So they this means that they will run both in Rosetta 2, but will work even better because they are M1 optimized. And this is also another really cool feature about the Apple M1 CPU is because it is based off of ARM, the same um, architecture that iPhones and iPads are based off of, you can actually run your Apple iPhone and iPad apps actually on your Mac if you have an M1 CPU. Now, I have heard that they aren't the greatest. The support isn't great yet um, because of the screen size limit and resolution, and you're trying to simulate touch controls with a mouse or trackpad. So it's not the greatest yet, but it is coming into play, and I will be doing a review of that. Um, as I did post a video, I'll have a link to it above right now in a card. Um, talking about I'm looking to buy a new computer as my current computer is not good for video editing. It takes overnight to render videos. Editing is super choppy um, and I'm really looking for a brand new computer because the current one I use is from 2010 
And whenever I try to record a screen capture or edit a video, the fans start turning on. It's a 2010 iMac. Now, I'm not, actually, I'm not actually using that computer to film this, to make this video. I'm actually doing it on my our family's laptop because it can actually support it. Um, but that's the thing I'm looking to save up. So, um, And I'm also looking for people's suggestions. So if you have an Apple M1 computer, please leave your suggestions in the comments below of that video because I am looking for help. I am probably going to be ordering it this Saturday as I'm recording this on a Friday. So if you guys have any suggestions, please add those today or tomorrow because I really do want to get that soon enough and I do have a budget, but I'll talk more about that in the other video that I had um, linked. I'll also keep that one in the description. Not only that, but I will leave the link to this website in the description of the video so that if you guys want to check out this website, if you have um, thinking of getting an M1 computer or you have one and it's not, if some apps don't work well, well, you can see this website um, if you have any questions or things like that. I did not make this website, and again, I am not endorsed by, these com by this company. Um, I just thought it was a fun website that I found that... Um, Definitely gave me a lot of resources when I was thinking of getting the M1 compared to an Apple Intel Mac. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Have a great rest of your day and goodbye.